Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Rumors for The Mandalorian are swirling and, if true, could have huge implications for the series and its future. Multiple outlets are reporting that The Mandalorian could end after its fourth season, but such a move wouldn't signal a typical cancellation. Instead, according to leaker Jordan Mason, the series could return under a different name, probably with a title that would better allow it to embrace the broadening scope of the live-action Star Wars television universe. Now, this hasn't been confirmed by anyone at Disney or Lucasfilm, so we can only take this with a grain of salt for now. With that said, considering how The Mandalorian began as an episodic Bounty of the Week show and morphed into a story that has broader implications for the Star Wars galaxy post-Return of the Jedi, it wouldn't shock me if The Mandalorian ended after Season 4 to then return under a new moniker that more appropriately aligned with the story of the show at that point in time. The example given by Jordan Mason was The Mandalorian changing its name to The Mandalore. Such a name change would be apt if The Mandalorian starts focusing on on Din Djarin and Bo-Katan Kryze attempting to reclaim Mandalore from the Empire and potentially vying for the title of Mandalore, which is the title assumed by the sole leader of the Mandalorian people. Additionally, a change in the series name could also correspond with the slew of spin-offs that are already planned to be released, with the same actors and characters from the Mandalorian appearing in said spin-offs. The Book of Boba Fett, Rangers of the New Republic, and the Ahsoka series will all take place during the same time period as the Mandalorian, and each series will feature characters and actors from The Mandalorian. If The Mandalorian were to end after a fourth season and reformat into a new series or the same series with a new name, that could open the door for even more spin-off series to be released, such as one that focuses on Grogu training with Luke to become a Jedi, or maybe a series that focuses on Luke's new Jedi Order, or maybe even a series that focuses on Bo-Katan and her fight to reclaim the Mandalorian homeworld of Mandalore. Although rumors have been abound that Sabine and Ezra will appear in the Ahsoka series, we could also potentially get a spin-off series that would act as a sequel to Rebels, where Sabine is searching for Ezra, allowing her to pop in and out of the Ahsoka series and Rangers of the New Republic, especially if Sabine appears in The Mandalorian at some point. On one hand, I could totally see Lucasfilm ending The Mandalorian after a fourth season and creating a myriad of spin-off series from the ashes of that show. On the other hand, would Lucasfilm and Disney want to end a series that has been insanely successful and profitable, even if that means just changing its name? Will they want to alter one of their flagship series in a way that could affect subscriptions to Disney Plus? I'm not so sure. I think it will depend upon what Lucasfilm has planned and what the Mandalorian creators, John Favreau and Dave Filoni, have planned for the Mandalorian and for Din. Whether or not this rumor is true, it's still rather intriguing and time will tell if the rumor is legit. For now, I think the Mandalorian and all of the spin-offs that are planned are in great hands. I feel very confident that whatever direction the Mandalorian takes, whether it will be ending after season 4 and getting a new name, or if the series continues beyond season 4 under the same name, it's a safe bet that Star Wars fans are in for one hell of a ride. But what do you guys think? Would you like to see The Mandalorian end after season 4 and return under a different name? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy.